Welcome to, hello internetians, and welcome to talking about anime with Nathan and video game stuff in the background with Blake. Hello internetians, and welcome to, you get half a story each episode. <laughs> exactly. So basically, the way it ends up is he strives to earn the title of Tiger of the Dragon, quote unquote, from her. Shoot him in the dick. Yeah, shoot him in the dick. Shoot him stop. where it hurts. He usually stops him. Yeah. Anyways, so. That was a bad choice. Yeah, kind of. So it's like. Okay, so he's striving to become a dragon. Yeah, Titan. Metaphorically, of course. Mm hmm. And so it's like he he tries to help her get with his best friend, but in doing so, she realizes how much she can't live without him. Right. Ah, why did I do that? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Hang on, this is a machine gun fight. Let me just stand up. And through all of the, oh, and it turns out that she's a filthy fucking rich, by the way. <laughs> but her parents are jackasses. Mm -hmm. Her dad's a major douche who says that he'll show up but never does. Oh, I hate and those people. And his mom, her mom, is wicked restrictive. I hate those people, except for in Liar yeah. Liar, because in that one he gets redeemed. Yeah. And so, like, the big thing with the guy, the main protagonist, male protagonist, is his father was, like, a scumbag. And everyone... And he had, like, really creepy eyes, like, a, like thug's eyes. Mm -hmm. And that's what was passed down to his son. But he's, like, a wicked, really nice, pacifistic, cool guy. But he has creepy eyes. But he has creepy eyes, so everybody judges him based on his eyes. Because he doesn't look Japanese. Wow, all that time, and I still... Well, okay. What the fuck? That one was not my fault. That was bullshit. <sighs> this, the shots in this are, are becoming more realistic. Please continue. <laughs> and so, basically, it's just like... How those two end up together, and... There's a girl that the main male protagonist likes. That's not weird. <laughs> at all. Spawning guns. 101. Yeah. Spawning guns. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's like... He tries to get with her while Taiga is trying to get with the guy's best friend. Right. But they end up together, and the guy's best friend and the guy who he and the girl who he likes start shipping Taiga and the dog. Yeah. Real unquote. life shipping. Yeah, real life shipping. It's so, kind and of so different. basically, it's like, but the problem is the girl that the male protagonist likes also develops feelings for him. Right. The same time as Taiga develops feelings for him as well. Ooh. Yeah, and so she's like, I know you like him, and I like him too, but if you love him more than I do, then you can have him. Right. And so... Do they fight to the death over it? No, they don't. Good, it's not an anime that AJ watches them. Yeah, pretty much. Ooh, it's act it anime. actually has a nice ending. And I'm probably going to tell you about it because I want to talk about it. Yeah, I'm not probably going to watch it anyway. You know what I'm thinking. Yeah, about basically what ends up happening is their school has this big, like... Spoiler I'm, alert. I'm going... Spoiler alert. <laughs> I'm going to have... I'm going to call it a tournament, for lack of a better word. Right. Well, where the entire class is, like, caught up in sections, like, class 1K or whatever. And they're Harry in Potter. class 1K or whatever. Yeah, basically, Harry Potter. So, it's like... They have these competitions, and the last competition is a race to see who gets to, like, go on a date or, like, have the last dance with Taiga. Why is Taiga the one? Because she won the beauty pageant. Oh, okay. There was a beauty pageant, and she won I was it. I say, they just specifically chose Taiga. Like, yeah. She's the prize. No, because, like, and she's, like, wicked small and, like, looks, and I'm going to use this word, kind of looks like a lolly. <laughs> But, and, and her, t and for her talent. So it is an anime name, or uh, AJ <laughs> <laughs> No, but it doesn't hover the fact around, around the fact that she was like a lolly. It hovers around the fact that they mature together. And so basically her talent was that she can fit into a duffel bag. <laughs> I'm not joking. That's She's that small. That's horrible, but and, hilarious. And like her outfit was like this thing that was based on like angels and stuff. Like she had wings and, and a white dress. Yeah. But her big thing is she doesn't like to dress girly, and so it shocked everybody. Really hating these cover areas right now. Yeah, you get zero, like, there's cover, but you don't get any of it. It's the awkward, like, angles. Yeah. Alright, sorry. And the fixed camera, too. Well. Well, like, when you get into a thing, it's like, it, ma it does this. It does that. That's not a big deal, though. 
I can deal with that. I'm used to that. What the fuck? I was already taking damage and I just popped my head out at the wrong time. That was my fault. So basically what ends up happening is he's in his foot race and everyone's trying to drag him down and keep him from her. But of course, if I believe in myself enough, I can beat through everybody. So he basically starts punching people in the face. <laughs> like, she's mine! Right. Literally, literally to the point of, I think, yelling that. Nice. Because there was a scene earlier where he was drowning, trying to save her from drowning. Aw. And so she, like, resuscitates him and doesn't let anybody else touch her. And she literally, like, like a tiger protecting her loved one. Right. Shouts at everybody and swings her arms around trying to get everybody to leave her alone. Shouting, don't touch him, he's mine. Nice. And he's semi-conscious. It's adorable. That is adorable. And so it's like, basically, what ends up happening is those two get the last dance or whatever. Of course. And, like, that's not the ending, though. They, like, go to a resort or something. And oh, yeah. I'm kind of, like, jumping around here, but she like goes off on her own out in the you know out in a blizzard by accident and she's like getting really cold and like frostbite and everything oh god yes you got it i totally just remembered i had grenades by the way nice and so basically what ends up happening is the the guy finds him finds her right and so she's in a semi-conscious state and she thinks that it's the guy that like the guy's best friend so she says I know that I've been crushing on you all this time, but I can't live without him. And she literally says it to him about him, but she doesn't know. This Does he is... know that she's talking about him? Yes. Okay. She says it. That's good. Otherwise, it would have caused, it caused some really awkward tension. No, yeah, and he's just like, wow, holy shit. And so, basically what ends up happening is the two decide to run away together. Mm -hmm. And what the fuck happened there? You're just like, I forgot, uh, there, was a, I forgot there was a guy with a shotgun behind. No, me. but like you flew forward. Like what the fuck? Yeah, shotguns are really powerful in this game. It's crazy. So they decide to run away together. And it's really adorable because they run away to the male protagonist's that animation is weird. grandparents' house. Right. Because Taiga's mother doesn't want them being together and she's basically like no screw you i love him right so Classical. the best the best kiss scene in all of anime well in in the entire anime takes place here the only kiss scene basically what happens is the grandparents don't have any spare have only one spare room and one mm -hmm. spare cock so the two have to sleep there together and unfortunately this was on crunchyroll yeah. So they cut out the fact that they're sleeping together. They don't do anything. But they but just cut out like them being in, in them being in bed together. And but I actually saw a cutscene, a uh, frame of it, and it's really adorable. Cause like she's so small, she's holding onto him, and I'm just like, ah! Crunchy Roll is really weirdly picky about this. Yeah, stuff. they are. And so basically, she says, "Well, we're going to get married, right?" And he says, "Yeah." And she said, and so she's like, so we, I guess we should just practice. And he's like, what? <laughs> and he turns around and she pulls a sheet off their cot and pulls it over her head like a veil. <laughs> and she's like, you know what? He starts like fumbling around with his vows or whatever. Mm -hmm. And she's like, you know what? Screw it. Just cut straight to the kiss. And so they do it. And she's, and so he's like, well, how was it? Like, wicked we, we awkward. Mm -hmm. And she's just like, well... Your lips were really cracked. He's like, well, thanks. And your breath was really bad. And, she, and he's like, oh, shit. And she's like, it was like kissing a desert. What the fuck? What the fuck? No, no. Ultimate no. cover. I got so ultimate far. Ultimate cover. You have ultimate cover I got right so now. Far. You can't move out of it? Wait, I'm out of it. Okay, good. Thank God. I thought you were like, oh, shit. Thank don't, God. Don't die. Oh, God. I blame the wall. <laughs> I blame the freaking wall. It was the wall. I blame it. And she's like, it was like kissing a desert. And he's like, well, thanks, great. Well, at least I know how you feel now. And she's like, but I enjoyed every second of it. And then she looks at him. And the most adorable, and the most adorable, that's a grenade sitting right I next know. to you. I have time. Okay. I just wanted to kill that guy. The most adorable way that she could, she just pulls back a few seconds of science and says, how about another one? 
and then they kiss again, and I'm dead again. And then it just keep it just keeps going up and backing out, and she says one more, <laughs> one more, one more, and then it just cuts to black. <laughs> or I would assume in the full version cuts to them sleeping in the bed together. They included that part in the? No, they didn't. Uh, that was the part that they cut out. Crunchy they, was BS. They they included the part where they just keep kissing each other. You sir, wicked adorable yeah. here, and I love it. And I'm just like, holy fucking shit, that's crazy. And then just like, it had the best like little little twists. Like they were, he they go back to her apartment and she makes up with her mom or whatever and he's like okay I'll have dinner waiting for you at my house and they're literally neighbors right and so and then how that episode ends it cuts to black and then she said it says but she never came wait what I had dinner set out for Tyga but she never came he gets a note from her a few days later saying that she had to go back for to her mother's uh, house in some other city someplace to finish up the semester there to cement things with her mom and convince her and okay. so at the end in the last part of it it just cuts out right there and it ends and i'm like fuck but it has a little thing at the end like you have to watch through the credits like, right it fills in at all the other characters like where they are now mm -hmm. at the end of the semester like all the students had a great semester because everybody thought that they were the shit <laughs> because they kicked ass at the, uh, and they're like graduating high school. And so, he's about, the main protagonist is about to turn away and he looks up and in their old classroom, Tyga's standing in the window and she disappears. So frantically, he runs past the other two main characters and they're like, what the fuck is he doing? Right. And so he runs in there, he opens up the door and standing in the room is nobody. Mm. He walks in there, turns around, and there, you know those old lockers? Yeah. He opens up the locker, and she's standing in there, and she's pouting at him. Ha! <laughs> she's just like, y it was supposed to be a surprise. Mm -mm. You ruined it. And she's like, like, being nasty to him or whatever, like, the little way that she does the entire time. And then, he just says, hey, Taiga, and she's like, yeah, what? And he just says, I love you. And, like, they do this weird thing with her face, where it's like, it... It starts as shock and it devolves into embarrassment and then slowly into anger. And she just like punches him in the stomach. And he's like, what the hell was that for? And she says, I was supposed to be the one to, to say it first, not you. Hmm. And so then, well, then it's why like- why didn't you say it sooner? Yeah. And then it just fades out. And then it's like, because this is the way love is supposed to be. And they, in, they both, it says it in both their voices. And then it just ends. And I'm just like, that's cute. And it's one of the few animes that, like, is really good dubbed. Like, the voices are really, really good dubbed. If you don't, oh, really? If, yeah, if you don't believe me, just watch. Yeah, most anime is not dubbed well. But they did a really good job. That's why like, I always watch subbed. Yeah, there was a song... Nathan here watches dub. Shut the fuck up. Of, like, everything. Shut the fuck up. And the only one that I was able to tolerate... Oh, God. Yeah, I knew he was there. I'm very gangster up in here. Yeah. Um, the only one I was able to tolerate that you watched subbed was, um, uh, SAO. Yeah, dubbed. Yeah. Because SAO wasn't too bad. No, yeah. Like, it wasn't great, but it wasn't that, that, wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. You know what's horrible, mm -hmm. and I've said this a billion times, but you know what's horrible is Naruto dubbed. Yeah. Sasuke! <gasps> Naruto! Also, the fact that they censor out, like, half of the blood is, like, yeah. it's like, Bullshit. okay, what's the difference they between a little bit of blood? Of time. What do you mean? They turned all the blood into slime. Like really? green? Yeah. Wait, when? What do you mean? Like from the Japanese version to the American version? Yes. Or like from an old version to a new version? No, in the original version, in Jap in like Japan or before like they released it, it was mm -hmm. supposed to actually be blood. Really? They didn't want that much blood in the game. Wow. So they turned it to green slime. That's cool. I want the Japanese version now. I don't know if you can still get it, but if you could, that would be fucking great. Because yeah, no, everything awesome. bleeds. You actually get hit with a sword in, in blood. Makes you feel actually mortal. Yeah. Which, I mean, is a big thing for Legend of Zelda. I just realized this crank was here this whole time. Yeah. Yeah, meanwhile, you're telling this really cute story, and I'm just, like, no, yeah. murdering people. Why you <laughs> glitching through walls and, yeah. like, gl and, like, freaking out and getting really intense. If you could see me, we don't have the face cam, but if you could see me, I was, like, mm, with every no, shot. No, yeah, he was, like, fucking intense. Like, yeah, dude. Beast right now. Yeah, dude. 
So yeah, it was. I like, feel like we've been going a really long time. 